everybody, David and David here from payitforward.com and upphone.com. And in this video, we're going to tell you how to monetize your WordPress website in 2020. The first question a lot of people have when this topic is brought up is when should I actually start monetizing my website? And the answer is right now. My website is a perfect case in point. I wrote one blog post, I forgot about it. Six months later, five million people read it in a week. I made $10,000 that week and I wouldn't have made any money if I hadn't had Google AdSense on my website. And that's actually our first monetization path is Google AdSense. Google AdSense is Google's ad network. There are millions of advertisers who pay to put their ads on your website. So the reason we like Google AdSense is it's very easy to sign up for. They have great features that integrate into your website and they can even automatically display ads in the right locations mm -hmm. and it pays well and they have what's called a 100% fill rate. So that means that every time somebody visits your website, they're going to see an ad 100% of the time. Yeah. Other ad networks are great too, but they don't have that 100% fill rate because their pool of advertisers isn't as large. I could go on and on and on, but I'm not going to. Yep. So our yep. second favorite way to monetize your website is affiliate marketing. Right. Affiliate marketing means that unlike AdSense, which is either cost per click, meaning somebody clicks on an ad and you get paid, mm -hmm. or cost per impression, meaning that somebody just sees an ad and you get paid, affiliate marketing is cost per action, which means that they have to click on an ad and then do something, like buy a product for you to get paid. Yep. So you don't always get paid when somebody clicks on an affiliate marketing ad. For instance, let's say we had a ad for web hosting on yep. our website, somebody clicked through, we wouldn't make any money unless they actually bought that web hosting plan. We are an affiliate of that web hosting company. Company. The reason that you can make a lot of money doing this is that affiliate commissions are very high. Mm -hmm. They could be $1 or 5 or 10 or 100 or 1000 yep. yep. One great thing to do is write content that solves a problem. And one of the solutions to that problem is the affiliate product you're marketing to your audience. Uh, four things that we have, four networks that we like, Amazon Associates, mm -hmm. Flex Offers, Commission Junction, and Share, Share Sale. Okay. All great networks. There are tons of affiliate marketing companies out there and networks, affiliate networks. These are the middlemen between the companies and you, the publishers, us, because Reebok doesn't want to have a relationship with 9,000 different websites. Right. They would rather just have a relationship with one affiliate marketing company, affiliate network, and then we'll drop some links to those in the, in the description below. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Number three, create and sell your own product. Obviously, if you have a business, you might want to sell your own products if you have them. Right. So create your own product, you probably have them. And as David just said, WordPress has WooCommerce built in, mm -hmm. or not built in, but it's one of the things that actually automatic makes WordPress makes mm -hmm. WooCommerce. It's their shopping platform. It kind of sucks compared to Shopify. So if you have a WordPress website and the primary purpose of it is to sell your products, I hate to say this, I feel like I'm, you know, blaspheming myself. That's okay. But go to Shopify. It's like way easier to sell products. It's way better. I mean, do you agree? I, yeah, totally. It's really just uh, consider it. Yeah. Seriously. Of course, if you have a lot of blog content on your website, you may just want to set up a Shopify store separately and direct your blog traffic to your Shopify store. Sure. Yeah, you could have it be a subdomain. It could be yep. store.yourdomain.com, could be the Shopify version, if WooCommerce is just really driving you crazy because Shopify is just so much easier. In a similar arena here, number four is drop shipping. Mm -hmm. Drop shipping means that somebody is on your website and they say, I want to order this iPhone cable from you. Mm -hmm. And then you say, hey, company in China, send them an iPhone cable. Yeah. Whenever you're on Amazon or eBay and it says that it's four to six weeks delivery time, it's because that person who you just bought it from isn't actually selling that product or they don't have it on hand. They're just passing your order along to China mm -hmm. and they're shipping it to you and the person in the middle is just making a profit. Yeah. You can find a lot of those products on AliExpress.com. Yeah. We've actually dipped our toes in a drop ship and we did it for a little while. We had some success with the waterproof pouch we had. Is the iPhone waterproof? No, buy this pouch. Yep. Uh, it's a bit of a headache. We don't really recommend drop shipping. Yeah, it was it's, a, it's much easier to find the same product on Amazon. Your commission is going to be lower, but it's going to be a lot less of a headache. Yeah, and I mean, really it comes down to what's the best experience for the people who are visiting your website. Mm -hmm. For us, it wasn't waiting three weeks to get a stupid flimsy waterproof case. Yeah, it, was, it was go to Amazon. Go to Amazon. Pay the same amount. Right. One to two day shipping. And then they still like us. Yeah. They don't hate us. They don't, no more hate mail. No more customer uh, support emails. Yeah. No more refunds through PayPal. Yeah. Drop shipping is a headache. Hard to get started. It was certainly a headache. Yes. Mm -hmm. Number five, create an online course. Uh, we recommend Teachable for this. Right. Another one here's I showed up for the WordPress tutorial. But I know. WordPress is very difficult in terms of the the online learning platform. It's hard to cust it's hard to customize a WordPress website and turn it into a 
course, really. right? Especially we've, we've tried it before, and it, we had a lot of problems with it. And then we were like, "Hey, why don't we try something else?" So we went to Teachable. And we set the whole damn thing up in two days. Yeah, it was great. It was ridiculous. Yeah, again, here if you have a website, a WordPress website, use that as your blog, and then direct traffic to your Teachable course because the Teachable blog section really isn't that impressive. Right. So again, subdomain blog dot your whatever dot com. Yep. Main domain, your Teachable website. They can all work together and link to each other. Yep. Next is email list. Email list, build an email list, super yep. easy to do. Set up an email contact form on your website. They give you your email, you build this long list, you say, hey list, check out this affiliate product or check out this drop shipping product that I just released, whatever. Yeah, because you can link to affiliate products like mm -hmm. Amazon or through FlexOffers or ShareSale through emails as well. Yep. It's a great way to make some extra money. Yeah, or just drive traffic to your website and get that ad revenue. Exactly, yep. it all works together. Our last tip to monetize your website is to accept sponsored content. Say you're an artist, you have an art website. You're an artist, you have an art website. Perfect. Maybe a paint company, they say, hey, check out our paint and brushes. Will you do a review of it? And you say, sure, give me $1,000 and I'll review the whole thing. Right, and they'll say, $1,000? That's a terrible deal for you to make. And then you'll be like, no, actually it's gonna be $1,000. And what I say is like, we feel that the quality of our work is reflected by the price. Yep. And then they say, okay, fine, here's a thousand dollars. You'll be surprised how many companies will reach out to you and say, hey, can you review my product? And they'll, they'll, they'll be open to, you know, payment. Yeah, you can ask for a lot. Ask if, if people are saying yes to you all the time, you're not asking for enough money. Absolutely. So those are seven ways to monetize your WordPress website in 2020. Thank you guys for watching this video. Give it a thumbs up if you've enjoyed. If you wanna learn how to build a WordPress website, hey, check out our tutorial description section below, card above, uh, and once again, Yes, yeah, point all over the place. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more great WordPress videos.